Here are some thoughts on Christmas. We always think of it as a very positive event, which it is, of course, when God came to dwell on the earth. But I think about what it was for Jesus when he came to the earth. As we know, he lived in a perfect situation in heaven where everything was beautiful, he was worshipped, everything smelled good, it was clean, it was, I'm sure, very comfortable. And he chose to leave all this to come to the earth. And he came not as a conqueror, but as a helpless babe, spending nine months in the womb. Imagine how restricting that was. Here is the God who filled the whole universe, who holds everything together with his power, including this, the nucleus of every atom. And here he is, submitting himself to a helpless situation. Not only that, but he was born to inexperienced parents who didn't really know what they were doing. And he entered a world that was diseased and dirty and bugged. There were fleas and lice and ticks, which he did not have in heaven. He was surrounded by unwashed bodies, by streets full of donkey manure and many other inconveniences. And then there was the whole aspect of living among sinful people who grieved his heart every day and he kept his silence for 30 years. His brothers did not even believe in him. He lost his earthly father. He suffered many things but before revealing himself as the Son of God. And as it says in uh, Philippians 2, he says, Jesus, being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be held on to. Rather, he made himself nothing. So in the view of heaven, he made himself nothing. By taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the cross, even death on the cross. So he knew where he was going when he came, but he was willing to humble himself, to surrender his natural desires and proclivities to coming here for the express purpose of redeeming human beings, sinful, rebellious, bitter, toxic human beings, and to redeem the whole universe. For when Adam sinned, he not only created a split between God and himself, but he warped the whole of creation, bringing in death, destruction, and the downwinding of the universe, which we know is going on. So Christmas for Jesus was a very difficult thing. Uh, he did have the shepherds come and worship him. He did have the wise men come and worship him. He did have to flee to Egypt. He did have to go live in Nazareth, which, as we know from what Philip said, was not a very nice place. He said, what good can come from Nazareth? But Jesus was willing to do this, and his coming was the huge gift to us the greatest gift he could possibly give. Christmas is his gift to the world. May we be inspired by his graciousness, his obedience, his willingness to suffer for us on every level of his life. Merry Christmas.